So today is officially the day, guys. If you pre-ordered College Football 25 and you got the deluxe edition, early access begins later today. So if you're like me and you're watching this video, you're probably gonna wanna jump off into Dynasty pretty quickly here. So I wanna go over some tips today that might help enhance that experience. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is probably the most obvious one. It is gonna be which team you're gonna choose for your dynasty. Now, when it comes to choosing your team for dynasty, there's several different things you can look at here. I know for me, one of the critical things is what type of fandom do I have for that team? Now, obviously all of us have our favorite programs that we love. Not all of us are gonna plan on using them in dynasty mode. I know I'm gonna have one with my Razorbacks, but my main one for YouTube is likely not gonna be them. So there's other things I look at when I'm choosing my dynasty program, whether it's something as simple as how the uniforms look or how the stadium looks or program prestige, history of the program, play style, all these certain things can factor into the team you wanna choose here. But in order to really get the most out of your dynasty, you wanna choose a team that you have some sort of soft spot for. It makes it easier to stick in there for the long haul, especially if it's a long rebuild, if it's gonna be a struggle early, you wanna have some things with that program that you're attached to. Makes it a whole lot easier to stick with it. So tip number two is kind of figuring out what type of team you wanna build here. Now I know for me personally, I wanna go with the heavy running attack. So whatever playbook I choose is gonna be based around that. It's gonna lean into the way that I recruit. But we have about 150 playbooks in this game between the bases and all the teams. So there's a ton of variety in this game. You can kind of build your team out pretty much however you want to do it. So figure that out beforehand, kind of figure out what you want to do that'll help set up your recruiting board in that first season. So for tip number three, let's talk about recruiting here. Now, this is going to be a big change for a lot of us coming from NCAA 14, getting adjusted to the way the new recruiting system works. Now, if you're taking a smaller school, it's going to be a lot harder to recruit a lot of these guys that we were getting last time. You're not going to be able to fill up your boards like you could in the previous game. You're going to have to be more selective about the players you choose. So the hours that you're gonna spend recruiting, make sure it's on people that you know you have a pretty good shot at getting. I would not load up your board if you're a one-star school with a bunch of four and five-star prospects because the likelihood of landing those guys is slim to none. Go with people that fit around your school's pitches. What does your school do well? Do these guys like that? Even guys that may not be interested in you right now, if those are things that they're interested in that your school does well, that could be somebody you look to add to the board later on. But I would stick to a select few that you really want, really recruit them hard, and then you can try to expand your board out after that. So tip number four, this is gonna be a big one for a lot of us here, figuring out the difficulty in the sliders that you're gonna use in your dynasty here. I know for me, I'm gonna have a couple of different test dynasty files just so I can kind of play with different teams and different styles and see which sliders work best for the way that I play everybody's gonna have a different experience when it comes to this. Most of us are not gonna play the same way. Me going in with the heavy running attack, it's gonna completely change the sliders from the way that you are if you are an air raid type offense. So I would suggest taking a little bit of time trying to fine tune the difficulty to whatever suits you best. Now, if you're not like me and you only wanna run one dynasty file, then don't be afraid to tweak your settings throughout the season. It's Everybody plays the game differently. There's no one right way to do this. Year over year, you may feel like tweaking them differently depending on the type of players you have in the program at that time. Something may suit you a little better, something may be a little worse. Don't be afraid to change that. It's all about getting the best experience for you and enjoying it however you wanna enjoy it. So tip number five, let's talk about your coach creation here. Now there's three different archetypes when it comes to your coach that you're gonna create. You can either go with the recruiter, motivator, or tactician. I know a lot of people are gonna lean probably towards recruiting just because it's gonna give you a little bit of a head start when it comes to getting players to your program. I think for me personally, I'm looking more towards the motivator tab simply for the fact that I want the recruiting to be as difficult as possible for me. But this priority is different for everybody. So whichever one you think is going to suit you, roll with that. Or you can do what I'm gonna do and try out a couple different ones on a couple different files just to figure out which one you like better. This is one of these things where it's, again, it's all personal preference on how you wanna do it. So take that into account, really figure out which way you wanna build your coach. That's gonna have a long-term effect on your program and probably your enjoyment of the dynasty in general. So I think a little bonus tip we're gonna talk about here is something a lot of people may not think about, but setting house rules for your dynasty here. And there's a ton of different ways you can go about this. I think one of the ways that I'm gonna do is Something as simple as whatever contract my coach signs, I want to see that contract through before I take a job at another program. So if I decide to start out as a OC for a smaller school when it's a two, three year contract, fulfill that, then look to take a job after that. Don't just jump after the first season. 
Another big one for me is I like to set the play call cooldowns. That helps me eliminate a lot of overuse of money plays or certain things I know that works. And it really helps you explore the variety of the playbook that you choose. You can also use these in recruiting as well. You know, stuff as simple as only recruiting kids that are actually interested in your school, not taking kids that are higher stars, but not interested just to load your board up with better players. Or it can even be something as simple as when you're doing your schedule for your upcoming season. If you want to take off FCS teams or something like that and just add in smaller power five schools to increase your strength of schedule or limit the amount of ranked teams that you put on your schedule so you're not overly boosting the strength of schedules. And stuff like that to look into to kind of keep it realistic here if you want a long haul rebuild situation with your dynasty. One of the ones that I've always used, whether it's been college football or Madden, I always have a no switch rule on defense, which whatever player I'm controlling, that is the player that I play throughout the entirety of that play. I will not switch. I will let the CPU take over and the ratings dictate how they perform. But at the end of the day, guys, it's all about doing what you enjoy and whatever is going to give you the best experience when it comes to your dynasty here. But I think that about sums up what I wanted to go over in this video here, guys. So like I said, if you watch this, we should be just a few hours away from the game releasing here. If you got the early access, go enjoy this, man. We've been waiting on this moment for years. But other than that, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Hit the subscribe button if you have not done so already. In the next day or two, we are going to do our first dynasty video of this season. I still don't know which team I'm going to pick yet. I am weighing these options heavily right now. I'm down to about five or six schools. So y'all will see that debut in the next day or two. But I appreciate y'all watching it, guys. I will catch y'all later. Take it easy. Peace.